Chapter 10, Overcoming Disabilities, Part 2. People with disabilities face extra challenges in life. However, these disabilities don't keep determined people from doing amazing things. This is a painting of the musician Ray Charles. Ray Charles went blind when he was seven years old. He couldn't see, but there was nothing wrong with his ears. He loved music and decided to become a musician. He learned to sing and play the piano. Eventually, he became one of the most popular musicians of his day. Ray Charles won 10 Grammy Awards and made millions of dollars as a singer. He did not let his disability hold him back. This next image shows a girl named Helen Keller. Helen Keller lost both her sight and her hearing from a serious illness when she was just 19 months old. She was deaf and blind for the rest of her life. As a young girl, Helen Keller could not hear or speak. She learned to communicate a few ideas by making gestures. When she wanted her mother, she would grab and pull her mother to her. When she wanted to be alone, she would push her mom away. She could nod her head to say yes or shake it to say no. When she wanted toast, she would make a gesture as if she was spreading butter on bread. There were a few ideas she could communicate, yet there were many things she could not get across with gestures. As a child, she would often try to communicate and fail. Then she would get angry and cry. Sometimes she would have terrible temper tantrums. She wanted more than anything to communicate with people. She was not able to do so. Helen's parents were worried about her. They did not know how to help her communicate. Since she was deaf and blind, she could not attend school. So her parents searched and found a special teacher who came to live with them. The teacher's name was Annie Sullivan. Annie Sullivan wanted to teach Helen to understand words, but how can you understand words if you can't hear them? Sullivan started by giving Helen a doll to hold. Then she took Helen by the hand and traced the letters D-O-L-L -L on her palm. She did this over and over. After a while, Helen learned to write the letters D-O-L-L -L on a page. She did not know that she had written a word. She did not even know that words existed. But she felt proud that she could imitate what her teacher was doing. Her teacher, Annie Sullivan, traced more words on Helen's palm. She learned to spell pin, hat, cup, and a few other words. The real breakthrough happened when Annie tried to teach Helen the word water. Sullivan took Helen outside to a well. She placed one of Helen's hands under the spout and spelled W-A-T-E-R on her other palm. Suddenly, something seemed to click in Helen's head. She understood that W-A-T-E-R meant the wonderful, cool something that was flowing over her hand. Helen soon learned more words. When she was eight, she went to a special school for the blind. Sullivan went with her. Later, she went to a school for the deaf. But she didn't stop there. She went on to Radcliffe College, where she became the first deaf and blind person to receive a college degree. Helen learned to speak, and she learned to read lips with her fingers. She learned to read using Braille. She wrote books, including a biography of her own life, The Story of My Life. She was active in politics and fought for women to have the right to vote. Helen Keller lived a long and productive life. She died in 1968 at the age of 87. 
In 2003, the state of Alabama honored Helen Keller by putting an image of her on their state quarter. The quarter pays tribute to Helen's courage in overcoming her disabilities and inspiring millions of people.